right, come here, mischief. Come here, boy. Yeah, what do you think about this? A nice safe way where we can actually play together. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cool. Hello, buddy. Hi. I wonder how this works. Hi, yeah. We're trying, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to go up and down. So we're playing together, guys. This is so cool. I have not used this interaction thing before, but look at him. We are right up there. No mischief, keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. I think we can make you so happy, especially because he has been kind of miserable. Oh my gosh. So I think we're actually increasing both his happiness and his social need when we are over here really working on playing with him and getting him to come and do the interactions. So let's try to play with him for just a minute longer, my fellow zookeepers. All right, come here, buddy. I need to pay attention to what you want to do. Yeah, is that so? Gosh, you're really cool. And then you want this. Gotcha. This is so fun. This feels so much more interactive with the individual animals than it has ever felt in previous Zoo Tycoons. I will admit that. Oh my gosh, that was adorable. Okay, so he's feeling a lot better. And we have finished our research, my wonderful friends, on the medium tropical exhibit, which is definitely happening. We are not keeping our tiger in an exhibit that small. We are gonna make this happen. So welcome back to Zoo Tycoon, where we are definitely doing our best to provide wonderful habitats and homes to all of our animals. I can't make a large tropical exhibit just yet, but I'm gonna be very happy if I can actually move our tiger into this exhibit. So let's put it down here. And we are completing one of the challenges I am so excited about because this is actually going to allow us, once we finish up with all of the details over here, let's connect this and this like so, but this is going to allow us to get the golden giraffe statue, which I am very excited about. You guys know how much I love giraffes. So uh, speaking of which, we might add giraffes in in just a second here. I know I said that we wouldn't do that because we were gonna be good and we were gonna try a different animal every time, but I I didn't mean to imply when I said that that giraffes would not be a daily part of our lives with these adventures because they're definitely going to be a daily part of our lives with these adventures. I am not living without my giraffes. It's just, it just can't happen. All right, let's go ahead and see what's good for tigers in particular. I think a good scratching post. I would love to see them on a slide or the tabletop, to be honest, but I think having, we'll see how much room we have. Let's give him a cozy scratching post. And do I have another spot? Oh, I thank goodness I do. Okay. And then the activity center, not so much clearly. I feel like he would play with a rope toy. I have seen so many happy tigers playing with rope toys, but if he likes the tabletop, let's go ahead and let's research the temple piece tabletop. I wonder where my research is happening. Like, is there some sort of tab where I can see what the research is doing? Hmm. Not sure, but we're gonna go ahead and add this in and then we are actually going to move our tiger. So let's put this here. Can I, okay. That's actually a really cool looking thing. All right, and we're gonna move our tiger. So animals, view animals, mischief, and I wanna move him. So let's figure out how I can do that. Select the animal, move, there we go. And we're gonna put him in here. And is that happening? To our brand new exhibit. Maybe? Yeah, the helicopter's coming, my friends. The helicopter is coming. He is gonna be moved in just a minute here. Nice, so we can continue to try to work on the natural fame while we wait. So let's do the zoo bling by adding in some decorations while he's being moved. Cause we are talented zookeepers. We're really starting to fill the flow, can't you tell? And that's gonna make things a lot easier. Look at all this scenery. Wow, we've got a lot of scenery. We don't have any statues. I feel like we unlocked a statue for sure. Uh, elephant statue. I really like that peacock statue. Let's research that again. Uh, but I feel like we unlocked a statue, so we need to figure out how we can find that golden statue that we had. Maybe you have to like upgrade it to level three or something. 
And it looks like we can research a jaguar fountain. Uh, you can't interrupt the research, though. Oh, look at that! Topi antelope. We've got the, the armadillo. We have reached zoo level seven. Hmm. We're gonna have to look into what that means in the future. And I do think a plaza would be nice. Like an elephant plaza. That would be really cool. And there's topiaries. Ooh, a jaguar topiary. They're big on the big on topiaries here as well. Okay, I think we researched. Ooh, and lakes? Oh, <gasps> I want a lake! Yes! That would be so cool. Alright, where's my peacock statue? There we go. Let's put the peacock statue right here. There. And this is actually part of our zoo bling challenge. There we go. We can come over here. Connect up these pieces. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Here. There we go. And I think I can actually upgrade. I wonder what happens. Like, does it make it gold if you upgrade the statue all the way? Because that would be kind of cool. Oh, look at the floor! The level of detail and attention does have quite a bit of love, even if the gameplay is very different. But I can handle different. Hi! Hi, beautiful peacock statue. I think that you're pretty cool. All right. So that is done. Cool, cool. Level two peacock statue. Hey, this guy. Dude, look. I don't want to tell you how to flirt or anything, but you're gonna get mauled by a tiger. Why are these fences not taller? <gasps> Look, our tiger is actually going over. Run for it, come on. Our tiger, oh, so big, is scratching on the scratching post. <gasps> That's amazing. Look at him go. That is so cool. Look at his motions. He is having a great time. This is awesome, I love. Oh, he's beautiful. You are gorgeous. I I could just take so many pictures. And we can unlock a photo scenario. That's gonna be really cool too. All right, well, let's go ahead and add in a new animal. I want to bring in another tiger because he gets really lonely really fast, which is not how tigers normally work, just FYI. Uh, there we go. Another Bengal tiger. Let's get Ariel in here. That sounds like a good idea. And we'll see if those two get along pretty well. But alright, so that has been taken care of. And it does mean we have an empty exhibit over here. The empty small tropical exhibit. Let's clean up the poop out of it really quickly. It doesn't take long to do that now that I've figured out how. Yay! Mischief is happy. Now his social needs are being met, which is wonderful. And let's actually come over. Ra grave news! I have a hippo! <gasps> that is grave news! I didn't even know I had a hippo. Give me just a second. I have two hippos? Oh boy. All right, well, we got to take care of our hippos ASAP too, guys. Um, and I know I said we wouldn't repeat the same animals, but it's not unlocking as many animals as I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and put one jaguar. Uh, let's do the Central American Jaguar this time, even though we didn't really have a long time to stick with the uh, other Jaguar. Let's just, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it varied up. What is with all these trees? That's going to be a pain. Is this a hippo exhibit? This is too small. I should always have research going. How dare this exhibit not meet the needs of my animals? My sister adores hippos. She would be so sad to see them in this condition. All right, so let's see. What can I give you guys? Let's learn about our animals. <laughs> you are glorious. This is Elwood. He is super hungry and he desperately needs Orwood and Fritz. <gasps> Look at him in his bathing pool. I wish I could give him a bigger one, but that's just the way they come. They need food. Like, heck. Why do they not have any food? Let's give them food. Build a station. They need their, I guess let's do some, some vegetable feeding station right over here. Hopefully that's good for them. Let's upgrade it. Can I add more to their exhibit? Can I do like, uh, well for animal care, that's good. What about for enrichments? They have the wading pool and then like no space. I wish they had more space. What else does a, a hippopotamus enjoy? Rope toys. Hey, that'd be really cool. And shelters. Apparently they really love shelters. 
I don't think they're gonna get into the slide, to be honest. Let's put in a rope toy, because I think that would be really fun to see. So we have the Debarked Basher rope toy, Engraved Punch Bag rope toy, Twisted Thumper, the Whiskered Whacker rope toy. Uh, yay! All right, good. So they're being cared for now that they're eating on their own. Let's get the Engraved Punch Bag rope toy research started. And then once we do that, let's start doing some research on some other medium exhibits because they're, these exhibits are all way too small. They're like, I would put maybe one small animal in there. Like, why can we have meerkats? <gasps> I bet in the future we'll be able to have meerkats and that would be amazing. All right, I think our hippos are gonna be pretty happy. Let's do some more research on big exhibits. Let's do something like the Alpine exhibit. What? I can't do Alpine big yet. I can do Andean Plateau medium if I research it. So let's put research into that and figure out how to move these trees. <laughs> Cause that's, the, the, what, are you, what are you doing? Get out of my, get out of my way. Edit decoration, yes. Like move it. Whoa, okay. That's more like it. Nice, okay. But do I have to do that with each individual tree? Oh my goodness. Like you have to get right on top of it and then you can wiggle over. Oh my goodness, this could take a hot minute. Wait, cause you really have to like, okay. Well, it's not too terrible. So that does tell you to be really careful when you're putting things down because you definitely have to give some thought to where you want things to go. So I kind of want to put Maybe, maybe some giraffes over here, but I'm beginning to think the Andean exhibit might be really fun. So as soon as that's done, which is in just a hot second here, let's put down an Andean exhibit because we need some new animals. And I also wanna put in the breeding thing because we have a little bit of time. We have about half an hour in real time. Uh, not like my real time, because we do this in different days, but like in the scenario. Let's just move this tree over here. Nice. But we have a bit of time. So I would like to do some research on like the breeding facility. So let's go ahead and put research into that. And then let's come down and we're now gonna put in a media. Whoa! Um, once I, what? Okay, who's in the way? I think that little bush is in the way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes! We did it! We just unlocked the chimpan- another type of chimpanzee. The three-toed sloth, Formosan bear, red lemur, the sulfur-crested cockatoo, the agouti, the Indian peafowl, an arid pool, a tropical lawn, the alpine medium, the Aztec slump slide, the temple tower climbing frame, and an ice cream stand. Oh my goodness. And a turtle plaza. What? And self-cleaning habitats. Mm, I have to do that. We have to figure out how this magic can be achieved. All right, so let's come in here. And I don't know if we're going to actually put the animal in right this second, because I, I might want to like do a little bit of poking at decorations, but who could we add in here? Let's see. Alpacas? <gasps> we have to do that because our wonderful patrons over in our Patreon Discord, we often greet each other with the phrase alpaca, which a long time ago patron once was trying to say like aloha or just hello and it corrected to alpaca. And so now we are the alpaca pack amongst our Patreons. So I want to have alpaca for sure. And Andean Plateau sounds perfect for that. And it's a medium, so we have room for more than one alpaca. So I think that that's what we're gonna do. Not a llama just yet. Look at those eyes. I had a llama spit on me once on my 10th birthday and I still, I still bear a little bit of a grudge. So we're gonna work on alpacas next. And we all are also going to work on decorating this area. What the heck? And like, look at this. The paths aren't even connected. They're literally right here, guys. Come on, come on. Yeah, master zookeeping. I am on top of it. And who knows? We'll be able to hopefully figure out what the heck to even do with the breeding stuff next time too. And maybe it would be nice to actually decorate because this is so different from everything else in our zoo. We should decorate with some of the alpine things to try to make this not stand out quite so much as a sore, a sore thumb. <laughs> so all right guys, if you would like to prepare to give our alpaca pack some pets, then please leave behind some likes. It really means so much to me and it helps me 
literally helps me so much with taking care of our wonderful channel. If you would like to join us and become one of the many amazing people <gasps> who can be in all of our zoo adventures and find the hidden alpaca coin that you actually unlock a challenge. Mm hmm in the hidden coin album for finding that child just ran by in a rhinoceros outfit. If you want to be part of all of this amazingness, then be sure to subscribe because this is, this is fantastic. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.